Mosaic tiles are two inches square or smaller. They can be installed individually or pre-mounted on mesh-backed sheets. In this demonstration, we'll be installing 12 by 12 inch mesh sheets in a bathroom. Before you start laying the tile, make sure the floor is smooth and level. Clean and vacuum the area to remove any dust, dirt, and debris. Snap layout lines to divide the floor into quadrants and sections. Square the lines and adjust them so the edges will be of equal width. Or, if you are tiling a small floor, you can lay out the tiles without layout lines, testing for color and pattern, and measuring end tiles for cuts. If you're using porous, natural slate tiles like we are, they must be sealed before grouting. Mix your latex modified thin set mortar as instructed in the technique section of tiling 123. Since this excess can't be cleaned out, use a mortar color that matches the grout you'll be using. Starting at the center of the room and using a square notch trowel, apply the mortar to one of the marked grids and comb it into straight vertical ridges as described in the technique section of tiling 123. Set the first sheet of tile into one of the corners formed by the center layout lines. Press it into place by placing a small beater block on it and tapping lightly with a rubber mallet. Lift the sheet and check the bottom. The mortar should cover the entire surface. If parts of the back are bare, recomb mortar with a trowel with a larger notch before resetting the sheet. Reset the first sheet and install the second sheet. Press both sheets into place with a beater block. Make sure both sheets are flat and at the same level. Also check that they're properly aligned with each other. If one sheet is a little crooked, all the sheets you put down after it will be crooked too. Keep laying sheets the same way. Make sure each is flat, level with the other sheets around it, and properly aligned. When you finish with one section, lay down mortar for the next. As you work, use a damp sponge to wipe off any mortar that gets on the surface of the tiles. Continue tiling until the floor is complete. Once all the tiles are in place, let the mortar dry completely. Each type of mortar has a different curing time. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Grouting is the next step in the tiling process. Grout fills the space between the tiles. Grouting is messy, so be sure to properly cover any areas that you don't want to get dirty. Using a margin trowel, mix the powdered grout with liquid and apply it. Skim the excess grout off with the edge of the float. To avoid digging into the joints, move the float diagonally across the tiles. The grout will set up in about 5 to 15 minutes and have a putty-like consistency. When a thumbnail pressed against it doesn't leave an impression, the grout is hard enough for the final cleanup. With a damp sponge, wipe the tiles diagonally to clean them. Rinse the sponge frequently in clean water. The sponging process will leave a haze on the tile. To remove it, wipe the surface with a damp rag, then with a clean, dry rag. Cure the grout and let it set thoroughly before applying sealer. The curing process is very important. Do not disturb it. Once the grout has cured, apply sealer with a sponge. Sealing tile grout gives it greater water and mildew resistance and helps keep it from getting dirty. Make sure to wipe off any drips before the sealer dries.